back to the channel. So I know it's been a while since I've uploaded a new video, but in this video, I'm gonna be showing uh, you guys how to mix E85 and 91 together to make E30 or E50 or really any ethanol content that your car needs or you're thinking about doing to your car. So my car is E-tuned from Stratified and it's on E30. So I mix E85 and 91 together to get that mixture. And it's just 30% alcohol or ethanol uh, by volume. That's what that means. And so this video is really just for anybody thinking about doing this, uh, tuning their car that way. And it's pretty simple. So I'm driving to the gas station right now and I'll show you how to do it with some basic calculations on your phone calculator. And then I'll also show you a different way you can Google an ethanol calculator tool and you can input some of uh, some of your metrics on your car and it'll tell you how to mix it. I'll show you both ways. It's relatively easy, but I just wanna show anybody that's thinking about going like E30, um, it's, not very, it's not very difficult. You just need to have an E85 station close by. And yeah, and so I'm pulling up to the gas station right now. All right, so we're here at the gas station. So we have the E85 pump, regular 87, 89, 91 pump. I'm in California, so the highest we got is 91. Um, so if you have an access port, so here's my gauge layout. So this is the one I wanna be looking at right here. It's called fuel level input. And if you see it's flickering between these two numbers, 6.4 and 4.8, um, so that's where the, the floating devices in your fuel tank, um, I forget what it's called, but it essentially, it estimates your percent remaining. So I'm on relatively flat ground. It would be better if I was on completely flat, but um, I've learned to take the lower number of these two. So it just means I have 4.8% uh, of my fuel remaining. Um, so if I come to my phone really quick and we do a quick calculation. So the Focus ST has a 12.4 gallon tank and times it by 0.048, you get 0.5952 gallons left, right? So minus it from 12.4, which means we need to fill up about 11.8 gallons, right? So another way to do this, if you don't have an access port or you can't find that or, or whatever, um, you can come and look at this. So we have 17.6 average MPG and nine miles remaining. That's what the car's ECU is estimating. So what you can do is you can take your miles till empty, which is nine, and divide it by your fuel efficiency, 17.6. And it's saying we have about 0.51 gallons left. And from the previous number, which was 0.048 times 12.4, that was wrong. 0.59, so that's saying 0.51, this is 0.59. So I mean, they're a little bit off. Um, I usually go with the, the lower number, which is usually the, the access port, because uh, this is going off averages and it might depend, um, you know, if you have 50 miles left, it might be a little bit off, but we only have nine. But I usually tend to go with the, the floating device data that's in the fuel tank. Um, so that's saying 0.51. And so if we do that, Again, we need about 11.89. So let's call it 11.9 gallons, right? Okay, so to figure the next part out, which how much E85 do you need? So if we need 11.89 gallons, we need it to be 30% ethanol. So it's a rough estimate on the calculator. This is um, just a rough estimate, so 3.567. So now I'm gonna go to a ethanol calculator. I'm gonna refresh the page so it, it blanks out. So you just type in like E30 calculator and this is on morepowertuning.com. Um, so there's, a, there's two different ways. I skipped this one. I scroll down a little bit and so it has this page. Um, so let's start with right here. What did my calculator say? 3.56. So we type in 3.56, uh, leave the uh, octane at 105, uh, the E85 percentage. So I come to this gas station every single time. Um, it's right by my gym and I've tested this fuel before and it's always 83%. 
So I know this one is 83%. I usually test this fuel every month or so just to make sure it's consistent. I can make a video on testing that, but I'm not gonna do that in this video. And then I've also tested the 91 ethanol percent, and this gas station is usually right around eight. But for your station, you could probably leave it at 10%. It's not that big of a deal. And then my gas octane is going to be 91. Um, it was preset to 93, but California with 91. And then right here, I'm gonna put eight. So right there it says total gallons 11.56. Again, we need, we need, uh, what was it, 11.89, right? So we need to add a little bit more. Okay, good enough, 11.9. So it's saying, from what I've calculated, 3.56 E85, 8.3491, gives us a mixture of exactly E30. So that's going off of um, the calculations that I was doing just on the phone. And yeah, that's just how you do it. Um, so we need to add 3.56 E85, 8.3491 and it'll be an E30 mix. And since I've been running E30 on this car for so long, the fuel that's left into the tank that I have nine miles with is already E30. So if you put in this huge mix of E30 mixing into E30, you still get E30. Uh, when you first start with an E30 tune, you have to overcompensate because your existing gas tank is probably only 10% or even 5% um, ethanol content. So you have to overcompensate to get your new tank to be E30. But yeah, so let me, I'm just gonna pour the fuel in and then I'll start the car back up and yeah. So we go 3.56, $12.80, not bad. Okay, now time for the 91. So then there's 8.34 of 91, 55 bucks. So in total, what was that 67 something, 67.50 or something like that. So, and that's the, the process. Close that up. Okay, started the car up. Um, so an important thing when you uh, refuel, especially if you're running E30 or E50 or whatever you have, um, I usually let the car like idle for like 30 seconds and then I start driving it and then I, I stay out of boost for three to five miles, five to 10 minutes, what, you know, whatever comes first, just to let the fuel mix, let all the molecules mix. Um, cause you don't, you don't want to get into boost if it's not fully mixed yet. Um, so I do not have an ethanol sensor. I really do want one. I think you could like put it like up here and it just tells you the ethanol content of your, your fuel tank. Um, so I really want to look into getting one of those. I know they're a few hundred bucks and I don't think they're that bad to install. Would be a pretty cool uh, feature, just kind of like a peace of mind thing to know that you've mixed it right or you know your gas station, uh, the, the quality that they have is what they say. Again, so I come to this gas station every single time. It's, it's right around the corner from my gym. And I, I usually test the fuel at, like once a month. I try once every two months, just to, just to make sure that uh, the E85 here it's every single time I've tested it over like the last eight months, it's been consistently 83%. So I know they're pretty consistent, but I still like to test once a month. And I recommend you do the same if you're gonna do this. And um, just an FYI, uh, when you have tunes that are like, you know, running E30 or whatever, there is some play. So if you don't get it exactly right, it's not the end of the world. Like if you end up getting your car's fuel to be E26, the car is gonna adjust, um, but anything lower than that, then you're gonna start to see some knocking, which is not good. And then the same thing for like the high end. Um, oh, nice, I just saw a GTR. Um, 
and when if you go over so if you're if you if you get like e34 in the tank the car will adjust it's not the end of the world but the closer you can get to what it's supposed to be which for my car is e30 the better the more your car will like it and yeah so that's that's how you do it if you have any questions about you know the math calculations i did please uh, comment down below if you have any questions i'm more than happy to clarify uh, any of those questions i've been doing this for over a year now um it, it's it's just second nature now to to do these calculations really quick um but yeah i appreciate everybody watching this video and i'll catch you guys in the next one and i'll give you guys just a little uh, sound clip at the end here and then yeah i'll catch you guys in the next one see ya